Joining me now is consumer blogger Andrea Deckard, who is now posting coupon deals on our website right now, right here, WDTN.com. Check it out. Andrea, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, we're still in the dead of winter, as we say, and uh, many of us are seeing our bills pile up in terms of heating costs. Help us out there. What can we find online and through your blog? You know, some of the tips that I suggest are just, they're very simple things, and this is a couple things that we're actually doing ourselves this year, but the door stops, just a simple door stop or even rolling up a towel mm. to put in front of your doors that might get leaky air coming through. That can help with the cost a little bit because you have all of those drafts and if they're not properly you know, caulked and all of that good stuff, then the air is going to get through. And um, another thing that I suggest is actually, um, you know, obviously having blankets around to keep your thermostat a little bit lower my husband and I have temperatures that are just completely opposites and so he would be fine keeping it at 65 I am freezing so I actually have I will admit I'm part of the snuggie group because <laughs> I do have a snuggie and I keep it on me because my kids are also very warm-blooded as well so they don't really need that so I just always keep blankets around too and then little fireplaces space heaters we can keep the vents closed in other rooms that we're not using a lot, and then we can also make sure that the rooms that are a little bit cooler in our home will actually stay warmer because we can have a space heater or a fireplace to kind of set off in the winter time. So those are a few things that I suggest to help with um, the heating, reducing the heating costs in the winter. And certainly you want to be careful because firefighters everywhere are worried about those space heaters, yes. kerosene lamps, that kind of thing that are, are not watched. So right. you certainly don't want to leave them running all the time. Right, and actually we have a few that automatically turn off after after an hour okay. even if we're down there it automatically turns off so then I have to get up and turn it back on but it's a safety precaution that I enjoy having because you know it, it doesn't take anything for me to go turn it on so all right and these are tips that you can find on our website now yes. we're working together and uh, through your blog we really appreciate your help Andrea yeah. thank you